Hi guys. Yeah, was that smooth? Hi guys, today I've got with me the new Amron 150C Lite, which I'm excited to show you guys and let's unbox it together. Let's get some close-up shots of this, yeah. Make it arty farty. Okay, so you've got your light. This is always useful. It's a reflector, it just focuses the light and makes it a little bit brighter because it's reflecting the light. A lot of the times when you're looking at how strong a light is, they'll say it's X amount of lumens with the reflector versus when they haven't got it. Because obviously it's gonna, it's gonna focus the light and project it out a little bit further. So. When you're looking at how many lumens a light's got, a lot of the time they'll include it with the reflector because it makes it a lot more powerful, a lot more stronger. Kettle these. <laughs> All right, we've had a quick look at what's inside the box, but let's actually just set it up and see uh, how it works and what it does. Okay. Once I turn it on, you can see how much it fills up the cove. It's super powerful for the size of it. This light can do CCT, so we can get all the way to 2500 Kelvin. So that's tungsten indoors nice and warm all the way up to 7500 kelvin which is outdoors well not even outdoors just very white light i tend to have it at 5600 if i'm shooting for daylight then with one click of a button you can go from cct to hsi like that and on here you can adjust the brightness hue and saturation so if i go in here i can change the hue that's quite nice but then i can also go on to saturation and bring that down so it's more of a not as bright scene you can go up and then i can turn up the brightness to 100 percent let's whack it all up to 100 percent hit that one there we go you can just see how it literally covers that entire cove with one light and that's really impressive normally i'd use two lights either side to get this kind of full coverage so that's pretty cool from just one light that means less equipment to carry as well with this light you also get a reflector and i want to show you the difference between not having a reflector on the light versus having a reflector on the light if you want to get as many lumens out of your light no matter if it's this one or whichever light you're using pop a reflector on it they normally come included with the light and it will just mean that the light's a lot more more directional but a lot stronger because it's reflecting off the reflector so it's going to make it a lot brighter than without a few features that i've noticed about this light since using it is it has an inbuilt fan but it's completely silent this is amazing if you're recording interviews or anything with sound the last thing you want is going to hear that buzzing noise that you get from lights with loud fans in them and also it's got a bowens mount which is amazing for anyone that does photography or if they've got modifiers that they want to use they're all going to fit on this light you can also connect via bluetooth so you can obviously change the settings from your phone rather than having to do it manually on the back of the light sometimes when you pay a little bit less than the bigger brands sometimes you feel that with the quality of the lights sometimes they feel quite cheap plasticky light but this feels really robust feels durable and you can tell that there's a lot of details that, that's gone into it it's more of an affordable budget but it's still got the nice high quality that we see from aperture and another thing is the size it is quite big for a 150 i have got similar lights which are 150 they're not as big as this but the build quality is nicer in this light and it's got a quiet internal fan and it feels more expensive so for it to be a little bit bigger but to feel better quality it isn't necessarily a con now the only con that i would say that i've found since uh, trying this light out you can't put batteries on it basically you have to plug it in which is fine if you're filming in somewhere like today in a studio if you're filming at home maybe you're doing youtube or you're filming for your clients doing interviews wherever as long as you've got a power supply you're fine for the price point and the quality and the amount of light that you get it's actually a really really good light so that's my first impressions on the amarin 150c if you've enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe maybe i'll be more consistent with videos if you like watching them let me know and that's all for today see you later guys bye <laughs> so i put a little text in my feet got sore wait okay my socks are showing as well so 